Hello everyone, uh, thank you for uh, watching this video. Uh, in this video, I'll try to explain uh, how to uh, access EEPROM e uh, memory using Arduino. Um, and in this case, we'll be using I2C protocol. Here is the, some simple sketch that you can see uh, Arduino Mega 2560 that I have used and EEPROM um, 802464. Uh, it has one both uh, Arduino has a, a two line it's called uh, SDA which is for data and SCL which is for clock you can see it from here and also EEPROM has the similar pin okay okay you also can see uh, how the memory address for the EEPROM works basically this address um, the um, it will be used to access the data you can you can see here uh, there is this 8 bit information the this is 7 bit of them will be used for device the last one is for uh, just to read write information w is will be zero this bit will be zero when you want to read when you want to write the data so if you just push all the bit one bit left side and this will become uh, 50 hex value this is the device address basically and for the memory itself it is a uh, 8 kilobyte data so uh, starting address will be 00, 0 and maximum address will be uh, 2000 hex value okay and I like to show you here the data sheet of this 80 uh, 2464 uh, um, uh, memory you can look at this one that it has STSCL also has VCC uh, then also some uh, address for this connection address you can see here a0 a2 a3 ground this all all of them will be putting to the ground at this moment since uh, uh, we are not multiplexing mm. okay here is the code uh, for Arduino code that I have written here you can see here the uh, OIR you need this one for the I2C protocol and you can see this memory address that I have used for 50 hex value and for the EP of maximum address is 2000 and here are some code I I'll, you can just look at it for a while that this is for writing when you write the data uh, I'm sending you the memory address this is there will be considered at the uh, int, uh, integer value and data value but this integer value you need to separate them in high bit lo low bit uh, because when you will be writing the data at first you have to uh, send the EPROM address which is uh, 50 hex value and then high high byte and then low byte and finally you have to send them the data you can send them data continuously uh, similarly if you look at the read one we have to do the same thing slightly different though so when you read the data you have to uh, point your the address high bit low bit then you have to uh, use this OIR dot request EPROM address one this is one indicates that you're going to read one byte information you can write more of them there are some other ones that be checking if there is any value available from the i2c or not and finally you are going to uh, return the data okay uh, here is the one at this moment i am writing uh, in eprom address 1 200 and also will be reading just the address from one okay so in this case i'm writing value in one i'm also reading from one so i'm supposed to read uh, 200 in this demonstration okay here is the circuit uh, you can see you can probably see two line STN SCL those are connected uh, here is the small device of the EEPROM you can see this one uh, it's not very clear there are two pull-up register you have to use pull-up register okay now I am going to use a serial monitor here in my screen right you should be able to see uh, 200 takes a little bit of time but you should be able to see it here it is okay here is a value e from below i just added 200 you can see the value okay thanks for watching this video